Hey everybody, Aaron here from Comic Booked, and I got a mail call today. Got a box. Woo Boxes are fun, right? So much fun. So today, um, I I had an order off of eBay, and I'm not sure this is like a Franken box, but I got an eBay order, um, a, a bunch of comics that uh, kind of like the the packs that I got uh, from the video earlier this week when the with the um, the new comic stuff so you know how it was like all of these sets that were super cheap um it was the same kind of thing so if i can just get into the cobbled together box here without tearing it up we'll see what's in it because i don't remember what i heard just know there's a box it's got a lot of comics in it All bubble wrapped and everything. So nice packaging. Very good. Um, a lot of tape on it. So let's see if I can cut into it without cutting into it, right? Um, maybe. I don't know. This is the biggest challenge is getting into this stuff sometimes. And just cut through the bubble wrap. Get right to the point. Hey, hey, hey and I didn't even cut the, the bag on the outside of the comic, so that's awesome. All right. There's a whole bunch of books here. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. I know you guys love that sound. It's so awesome. All right. So um, I got a run of uh, Avengers No Road Home, uh, which I haven't read yet. So issue one, two, Three. I have no idea what this storyline is about at all. Looks cool. Four. Like Hercules, and there's uh, Hulk. And I think this is where Conan was introduced. Um, and where he, he became part of the Marvel Universe. So I had to pick it up just to uh, see how that story went. So I'll be reading that and issue 10. So um, I got those 10 issues. Not bad. Pretty good shape. And then I had been looking for a run of uh, Eternals. So <laughs> looking at this. And this is the new, the new Eternal series. So there's uh, Eternals, Thanos Rises. Eternals, the Heretic. Um, let's see. Oh, here's some more. Okay. I think I, I must have picked up the first issue of this series. This is number one. And this is the Kieran Gillen um, series that, that, they, that he did. Um, here's Eternals number two. So Thanos is in. I like Thanos, so we'll see how this story goes. Three, four, five. You can count. Say it with me. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I wanted to get this series because it leads into the Judgment Day miniseries. Um, so I wanted to be able to, to pick it up and read it before I get into that series. So, because it leads directly into that. And then, uh, so that, you know, that's interesting, good addition to, to my collection, um, and to my stack of stuff that's unread. So <laughs> I'll be getting to that next. And then I got a book from Boom, um, that is called Origins. And I just thought it looked really cool. A lot of times that's why I pick stuff up. And I had never heard of this series, so I thought, hey, I'll get a 
get the whole series and check it out. Looks very interesting. Looks uh, kind of outer spacey, futuristic, sci-fi-y. So um, I'll read that and I'll let you know. But yeah, um, pretty cool. Some neat deals that I found on eBay. Um, I think maybe, I don't know, I paid 30, 30 bucks or something for all of that stuff. Uh, maybe 40 just to, you know, get a whole um, uh, full sets of some of those books. So fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I know this is a short one. Um, it's not a, a magic unboxing that takes an hour and a half, but I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've read any of these, if you really liked them or not. Um, I know Eternals is kind of a an odd series. It's it's a neat set of characters, and you know, originally created by Jack Kirby back in the day, and um, brought forward then with the the movie that came out. Uh, really trying to bring that cosmic kind of uh, space, you know, epic into the Marvel universe, and it's it's difficult, I think. Uh, with a set of characters like that that maybe is more of a a niche uh, group and not really full, uh, you know, right out there and everything. So there have been a few Eternal series over the time, not just the original one back in the, the 60s, but there was the set or the 70s, I guess it was. There was a set in the 80s, uh, early 90s, and then there was a couple other series this, you know, this century. But uh, nothing big like... Uh, Spider-Man's been ongoing since whenever, and uh, Batman, and all of these that have, you know, those overarching stories and that very deep mythology that's uh, kind of ingrained in pop culture, and it's easy to make a movie about Spider-Man. It's easy to make a Superman movie. I'm not saying it's easy to make a good one, because we don't always see those, but it's easy to make a movie like that and go, look at this highly recognizable character. I mean, if you look right here above my head, all the Spider-Man pops, you know, that there's a ton and easily recognizable. That's Spider-Man, you know, or that's whoever. Um, you know, if I move my head this way, you know, and you look right here, there's a Stormtrooper. And you go, Star Wars, right? You know, a lot of things like that where it's easily recognizable and easy to, to put something out and have people go, oh, I want to watch that. Um, I think back to... John Carter, when that movie came out, and Disney, rather than kind of play on the idea that, hey, this is John Carter, Warlord of Mars, you know, John Carter of Mars, or uh, this is Edgar Rice Burroughs' stories, you know, this is the guy who wrote Tarzan, hey, this would be cool. They just kind of were like, John Carter, look, he can jump. And people were like, what is this, a basketball movie, you know? It was stupid, but the, the the way they marketed that movie was so disappointing. Um, the movie itself was awesome. I really liked that movie. It was so much fun. Um, but the marketing was just pitiful, so of course it failed. Um, and, and unfortunate, because there could have been much more to those stories, uh, and it could have been a franchise in and of itself if it was marketed correctly. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, The Eternals is another one of those where... It just seems like it could have been more than it became. And uh, it, it, same thing with Inhumans. You know, Inhumans was kind of Marvel's answer to not having the license to do anything with the X-Men. So they're like, hey, screw the mutants. Let's just have the uh, the Inhumans. And those will be our new mutants. You know, they did the whole thing with the um, the, the cloud, the, the when the crystals, uh, what do they call them? Like, uh, Terra Genesis, crystal cloud. All that uh, happened. They they made that cloud go all over the world and transform all of these people into new, powerful heroes and villains. And uh, they really played that storyline up for a, a couple years. And, and then when they got the rights to the X Men, it was kind of like, okay, we're done with you now. You know, no more, no more Inhumans. Uh, just bye bye. We're gonna move on and do an X Men movie. Yay! Um, so I don't know. It, it's uh, the fickleness of the uh, popularity wheel is, uh, is disappointing sometimes, but especially for fans of the stories and the characters and wanting to see more of them, uh, you know, I'll get down off my soapbox. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did you see Eternals? I haven't even got to watch the movie yet, so unfortunately, <laughs> I want to I watch it, even though people are like, 
It's two and a half hours, and don't waste your time. I'm still going to watch it because I like the characters. I want to see what they did with them, um, even if it's disappointing. I tried to watch all the Marvel movies. I do have a couple I'm still behind on, um, like the last Spider-Man movie and the last Doctor Strange movie and, uh, you know, the new Wakanda Forever I haven't seen yet, but we're catching up. Um couple series I'm still behind on as well, but you know, it just takes time and life gets in the way. So uh, thank you for watching again. I'm sorry. Like, share, subscribe. I know I've said that three or four times, but it is important. Please leave comments. I like to communicate with you through there. Um, we'll do a giveaway this coming week again and uh, get some cool stuff sent out to people. So just be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching.